Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the most important report and in index so now let's start which of the following statements regarding sustainable development goals india index is correct a it is developed by niti aayog and pmo b himachal pradesh has topped the ranking c puducherry is the top among union territories and d is that bihar is the worst performer now first statement is wrong because PMO has not collaborated with Niti Aayog for this report so this report is prepared by Niti Aayog in collaboration with Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and United Nations and Global Green Growth Institution so first statement is wrong now second statement is also wrong because Kerala is on top as per this index the score of Kerala is 70 and Kerala is the top performer among states Himachal Pradesh is on second position score of himachal pradesh is 69 so second statement is also wrong third statement is also wrong as it is chandigarh that is on top in terms of union territories and puducherry is on second position statement d is right as bihar is the worst performer now one thing that should be kept in mind is that uttar pradesh has shown maximum improvement as per this recent report what is india's rank in the recently published gender gap index so recently this index was published by wef that is world economic forum and india's ranking is 112 this index was first published in 2006 and this index has four dimensions economic participation and opportunity educational attainment health and survival and political empowerment so as per this recent index india's ranking is 112 last year india's ranking was 108th and bangladesh is on the top position in south asia bangladesh rank is 50 which of the following countries has topped the global gender gap index so as per this index iceland is the top performer country iceland is followed by norway finland and sweden now iceland is the top performer while yemen is the worst performer Yemen is on 153rd position total 153 countries are ranked as per this index and Yemen is on 153rd position Iraq is on 152nd position and Pakistan is on 151st position now India's ranking is 112 China is on 106th position Sri Lanka is on 102nd position Nepal on 101st position and Brazil is on 92nd position while Bangladesh is on 50th position gender gap index is prepared by so we have already covered this dimension it is prepared by world economic forum and this index has four parameters political educational economic and health now if we talk about india's ranking in each parameter as per political empowerment india is on 18th position in terms of educational attainment india is on 11 second position and in case of economic india is on 149th position and in health india is on 150th position so as you can see india is one of the worst performers in economic and health sector which of the following is associated with asa asa stands for annual status of education report so this is a report which is published by ngo pratham it is published by ngo pratham ngo stands for non governmental organization so asr is an annual survey that aims to provide reliable estimates of children's enrollment and their basic learning levels and it is conducted every year since 2005 and it is largest citizen led survey if we talk about other options param is a super computer that has been designed by cdec and these two are ngos but they are not related to asr What is the rank of India in Human Development Index? So recently, HDI, that is Human Development Index, was released, and as per this index, India's ranking is 129th out of 189 countries. Last year, that is in 2018, India's ranking was 138th. Now, if we talk about this HDI, it is part of Human Development Report that is published by UNDP. UNDP stands for United Nations Development Program, and the focus of 2019 report was inequality in human development so india's ranking is 129th while norway is 
top performer. Norway is followed by Switzerland and Ireland. Which of the following is not a parameter in Human Development Index? So HDI, that is Human Development Index, measures the average achievement of country in three basic dimensions. These are long and healthy life, access to knowledge, and a decent standard of living. So as you can clearly see, this condition of environment is not a parameter in HDI index. What is the rank of India in Global Climate Risk Index? So recently this re index was released and as per this index, Japan is the most vulnerable country to the climate change. India is on fifth position and this index was published by German Watch. It is a think tank. So Japan is on first position while Philippines is on second and Germany is on third position. India is on fifth position. Emission gap report is released by, so it is released by UNEP. UNEP stands for United Nations Environment Programme. And this report was released prior to the COP25, that is Conference of Parties. And this COP25 held in Spain under the presidency of Chile. Now, according to this report, that means this emission gap report, China, USA, EU and India are the top four greenhouse gas emitters. So as per this report, largest greenhouse gas contributions come from energy sector and its fossil fuel emissions. The top performer states in the state's energy efficiency index are so recently BWE that is Bureau of Energy Efficiency in alliance with so recently BWE that is Bureau of Energy Efficiency in collaboration with Alliance for Energy Efficient Economy published this state energy efficiency index and this index track the progress of energy efficiency initiatives taken by the states and union territories so as per this index karnataka himachal pradesh haryana and puducherry are top performers while manipur charkhand rajasthan were the poor performing states now if we talk about bwe it is an organization under ministry of power and it is a statutory body that was constituted under Energy Conservation Act of 2001. So these were the important reports. Thank you and that's all for the day.